It's... Wait, what are these called again? In my humble opinion, Minecraft should have added the deep dark without telling anyone. <laughs> yeah, here's your silly little cave update. But dig too far down, they're the horrors. All of them. What's that one video game with the lesbians and what had blue hair? Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, thanks. Do you ever think there are people who go to Disneyland or World to cosplay as Kingdom Hearts characters? Well, now I do. Your 30s are for unlearning all the conformity you've picked up in your teens and 20s and getting back to the weirdo you were as a kid. You will complete the stage at 40 when you turn into a feral version of the weirdo you were as a child, except now you have money and can drive. Probably bad RPG ideas. So much superhero media suggests superheroes started this generation. Consider Neanderthal superhero. I'm sorry, uh, but did you mean Captain Caveman? If you don't know who that is, and he put up the picture. That's him. That's the guy. Your old pal Pacacho is not in the best spirits today. Your old pal Pacacho needs some cheering up. I don't think you deserve it. I'm no longer sad now. I just want to get you! Whoa, bro, did you just summon for fumbling as they learn and try something new? Not cool, man. That was pretty bad of you. I'm sorry. Really imagine being Chris and you discover the Undertale universe. Parallel copies of most everyone you know, post return to the surface, living these enriched, happier lives, following relationships that didn't pursue in your world, no longer dealing with the strains of weird small town problems. Everything seems great. You go and find your parents, and they're still divorced. Damn. Much like the Minotaur, I am a creature in some sort of situation. Yeah. Femmes who love pink are amazing and all, but have you considered emo femmes who love black? Okay, but hear me out. Both. Which Pokemon did more with Unknown? We've never even seen a character who has one as their main little buddy or anything. I want to know someone who goes through life in that world with a pet letter G. It has to be somebody. And I bet they taught it sing. And that is a very complex joke if you don't understand it. But I'll help you. Andy, play the G note. At some point, and don't ask me when, I don't know either. You gain or unlock the ability to look someone in the eye and understand what kind of person they are. And there are two kinds. No thoughts, blank stare. And war flashbacks. I mean, you could have just said retail worker for both, Salavan. It's fine. My brother's toothbrush is over the past month. Why is he so angry? Does this dude even still have teeth? Writing prompt. Instead of the monkey's paw, you find the clown's nose, which instead of granting your wish in the worst way possible, will grant it in the funniest way. Item. The cursed clown nose. Obviously, to use it, you have to put it on and give it a honk. Wow, this really works. I want a million dollars. I pull one dollar bill out of my pocket. I pull another dollar bill out of my pocket. This proceeds for the next three hours. Oh, <laughs> bold of you to assume it's gonna take three hours. Yeah, we put your boyfriend in a PMC more video. Yeah, they're using the voice and everything. Oh, sorry. God, God damn it. Hey PM, if there was ever a live action movie about Undertale, who do you think would be the best celebrity actor for Papyrus? John Mulaney. And I'll give you an example. Andy, this might be some complex editing, but here we go. Put up a picture of Papyrus and get your favorite John Mulaney voice clip and play it under it. You got a problem with cartoon? Thank you. Lo-fi girl? She... she can leave? <laughs> She's cosplaying my dad. Somewhere in the world, there is a tree that has sprouted the same day you were born and has been growing along with you. Why am I feeling things? It's not supposed to be hot girl summer yet. Why is it 85 degrees? I'm evaporating. Whoa, dude, have you seriously not realized that all things are delicately interconnected yet? At your age? <laughs> dude, cringe. People born in 2000 should be like 12 to 14 now, but they're not. That's how fucked up our world is now. The older this post gets, the funnier it becomes. I was going to scream for that last one, but it's allergy season and uh, hard to scream right now. But uh, I'll end it with a, with a funny noise. You guys want that? Cool. I love staring out the window when it's raining. Especially if I'm on the third floor of a building. It makes me feel really cool and kind of divorced. Didn't mean to type divorced. Where, where, where did divorce come from? I was not meant to be a person. I was meant to listen to music on the 
Plus, uh, fireball whiskey can be put in milk to make fire milk. Eat some protein if you're feeling fatigue. Visit garage sales if you want to find deals on belt senders. What we'll learn next week is still shrouded in darkness. Why is this phrase like people who are giving really crappy advice to people with depression? Hey, you know how you go out in the middle of the woods, your phone loses internet service? That's because the trees naturally protect you from the evil dark energy rays generated by influences and Twitter opinions. Follow for more information about the beauty of nature. I have the phrase, as far as I'm concerned, all work is homework stuck in my head, and it's hell. Spoilers for Super Mario movie. Jump about 15 seconds ahead if you don't want to hear. Okay, okay. I came to the realization that, despite how famous and well-known it was, dating back to the original Super Mario Brothers, Fire Mario did not appear at all in the movie, with the Fire Flower only being used by Peach and DK. Even more surprising is that besides the mushroom and the star, the only power-ups Mario used during the entire movie were the fursuits. Hmm. I think it's unjust to deny a child their right to dig a hole motivously. I mean, it's free exercise. They're doing something, and they're not on their phone. God. The moral of Deltarune is that there are weird guys in the basement. Have fun. Long, wet hair is heavy. Item 28X, the Immortal Pupper. Probably really bad item idea. The Immortal Pupper, a legendary wondrous item. A small wooden figure in the shape of a dog. When the activation word is said, it transforms into a living puppy that lives for up to a regular dog of the same kind's lifespan. The breed of dog is dependent on the type of wood. The bigger the bark, the tougher the dog. When the dog eventually passes, it reverts into a wooden figure again and becomes non-magical for one year. When that one year is up, the figure is magical again, and turning it into a real dog again will keep the memories of its last form. <laughs> this is a really, really good item, actually. I'm going to gift this to one of my players as a legendary item, no joke, this will make us here. Now, if you excuse me, I have to pause recording to go cry. Okay, I'm back. Aw, oh, he's literally sleeping on the barbecue sauce. Goals, man. Goals. Five night at boobies. Come on, man. Five boobs at Presties. Mm hmm. Free range, grass fed, certified organic gnome meat. I'm sorry, what'd you say? Apparently, this is how zoologists weigh tiny birds. This really needed to be on this blog. This is horribly undignified. I demand a lawyer. Shout out to boring queer people who don't do shit. Just go to work or school and then come home to watch shows. While gay. Love ya. Writing prompt. You open your door to find some religious looking people standing there. Have you found our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? You glance behind your door where Jesus is shushing you. This should be more on bad jokes by Jeff. Sometimes when I'm bored, I go through the list of recent bad faith at Wikipedia edits that have been reverted. A lot of them are politically contentious, offensive topics that attract crazies and trolls in general, but sometimes there are completely innocent, inoffensive articles that people attack for no reason. Some guy yesterday vandalized the article of the chemical element francium. Francium is a stupid element. Hm, take that, francium. They should invent a girl with no headaches. Oh, if only. A train could easily kill me if it became sentient. I'm not implying that any inanimate object which becomes sentient will immediately be homicidally angry. I'm simply stating a fact. You know, a train could easily kill you sentient or not. Just, just, just saying. I forgot how much of a dagger to the heart it is to post something you're super proud of and get, like, no reaction. The worst. The idea of Tumblr as a company is unfathomable to me. You mean there's some building out there labeled Tumblr HQ, where the staff sits and works on code or something? Ridiculous. You mean this beast I have on my phone didn't just manifest out of thin air? Impossible. Totally fake news. Butch fatal. She walked into my office with the swagger of a race car pit crew boss. From her steel-toed boots to her safety glasses, this dame was giving me forklift certified vibes, strong enough to shake me loose from my classic depressed laced with alcoholism. Her car binder jingled with keys to four speakeasies, two U-Hauls, and a thousand broken hearts. 
I want this book now. Twilight, but instead of a dramatic reveal about how Edward's a vampire, Bella just shows up to class one day and slides a copy of Dracula across the table to see what happens. He autographs it and slides it back. How dare you hide this comedy gold in the tags? Writing prompt. Prophets and seers don't have to give musings and warnings of the future in vague, riddling, or purposely misleading ways. They mostly only do it when the people who come to them are being arrogant jerks, and when someone knowing their actual happy end will cause that end to not happen. <laughs> yeah, sorry, you're not gonna have the context for him immediately. You might have to scroll a bit first. Yeah, sorry. I love and be arrow aces. Y'all really said, I don't want to have to do with any of that, actually. I found the perfect display from my hundred thousand year old shrimp fossil. Behold. I believe PM Seymour secretly owns a child because no man can make so many dad jokes without being a natural. Listen, if I had a child, I'd be doing double the videos to afford for their care. But, Snom, every Pokemon Tumblr user? They meant like an actual human baby. Well, you're telling me they assume that a grown man who's active on Tumblr could have a real biodegradable human baby? Crazy, right? Also, I found it weird that if they phrased it as owns a child. Um, remember to regularly change your pronouns for security reasons. Sometimes tax benefits. Body horror? Not to me. Not if it's you. Thanks? The worst they could say is no. True, but while they are saying it, they very well could hit me with force lightning like Palpatine from Star Wars. And, and you put out that guy. It could be any guy, as long as it's lightning. Yeah, that's the guy. I think I've been playing too much Hi-Fi Rush. I was making bread while listening to music, and I noticed I was subconsciously needing to the beat. I oh, well, fuck, did I just get more bonus bread damage or some shit? Bonus bread damage is my favorite out-of-context Tumblr quote. Using it. Why is the human body so utterly flawed? I have horrible back pain right now, all because I made a wrong move and threw out my back completely. I'm 16. I shouldn't be experiencing this kind of torment at this age. I can't even move without being in excruciating pain. Why does the universe hate me? Oh, if you're feeling this now at 16, 33 is going to suck. I think there should be levels to the death penalty. Like, if you kill one guy, then you just get, like, lethal injection or whatever. But if you kill 30 guys, which is pretty bad, you get shot out of a cannon while silly circus music plays in the background. Or we could just nigh kill people. I, I mean, supermax prisons exist for a reason. Funny big clown cannons exist for a reason, too. My boyfriend picked up a habit of shouting, Get scared! From another friend of ours as either a punchline or interjection. It's really funny most of the time, until that time I was so baked I couldn't speak and he just told me to, Get scared! And I started screaming. It's called super because the S is uber. Wow. Would you download a frog? Depends, is it a really cool frog? I'm downloading that frog. Andy, download that frog. Trees are pretty cool, right? You'd say they've been on the planet since forever, right? Like 360 million years. Pretty long, right? Wrong. Sharks existed for 450 million years. Sharks one, tree zero. Take that, trees. For the record, I don't post cringe to keep the Twitter users at bay. I do not post cringe at all. If you cringe at my posts, that's on you, not me. I'm simply having a good time on this website, and if that makes you cringe, I'm sorry for whatever you see in me that shames you so. Alright, Joker, calm the hell down. Gentlemen, show them no shrimpathy. Krill them without hesitation. Octopus! Very good, girl balls. Why do you work out? Asked a friend of mine. For self-improvement? Kinda. For health reasons? No. I work out to look more like Ganondorf! Look at this man! Yeah, sorry. We reblogged your boyfriend in the wrong order. <sighs> sorry. God damn it, Kimberly, you had one job! What do you call a spheres full of idiots? Earth. <laughs> <laughs> Got them all. Feeling gothic today. I became so goth my internet crashed. Oopsies. I just woke up from a dream in which there was an app that notified you when nearby LARPs needed an NPC, and you could, like... Go pretend to be a surly shopkeeper or whatever and get paid like 10 bucks for it. Damn, now I want this to be an actual thing. Baby girl, I'm obsessed in ways that I can't even animate.
It sucks. All my coworkers are joining Tumblr. Does that mean I have to stop being a horrible little creature here? Oh, no, 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 no. You got it reversed. You should have been a horrible little creature over at Twitter first. Now get to be one here with everyone else. You are so right. All of my college projects are done. Finally, I can return to being cringe. Spoiler alert. Adulthood is 96% of you going, well, I hope this is how it works and I'll keep doing it until someone yells at me. I like these posts because you read them as a teenager and you think, surely these people are blowing it out of proportion. And then you reach adulthood. I have a bookstore employee secret to share, and it's that when you buy milk and honey, we all make fun of you. If you pick up anything categorized as online poetry, all the gay booksellers are already pointing and laughing at you from the other side of the store. I thought you were making a grocery store post and I was like, no, these are good fluids. When you buy milk and honey, we all panic because we thought we got rid of the guy selling unpasteurized animal products in the biography section. You'll never take me down. I have come to the discovery that I own three cats and a mimic. Oh, no. I invite you over to my house. And while we're greeting each other at the door, I turn around and say, down, boy, down, no. And you just see a caterpillar moving very slowly across the floor toward you. Writing prompt. Unbeknown to most, the Norse gods are still among us. Thor is a grumpy personal trainer. Freya is a successful influencer. Quite a few of the dwarves are top-level sysadmins. But what about Loki? YouTube prank channel. I thought the shopping bags were a bit heavy. <sighs> Take them with you. Earlier, my friend said to me, somewhere out there, in an alternative universe... There's an all-female rock band called King. And I'm still recovering from the mental image and how gay it made me feel. They still have a hit titled Fat Bottom Girls. Okay, this reply really got to me feeling gay again. You know what my favorite thing about the Pokemon trading card game is? The attack names. Punch and Run. Offensive Needle. Extreme Attack. Serve Together. Iron Fist of Justice. Hulk is Pinkus. And my all-time favorite. Everyone explode. Now. I wish all trans girls are very kissed on the face by someone they love. I wish all trans boys they kissed on the face by someone they love. I wish all non-binary people are very kissed on the face by someone they love. Doesn't this just mean everyone now? Oh, wait. Ah, oh, fuck, I forgot cis people exist again. Children outside screaming. Annoying, but ultimately for the greater good. Children need going outside and screaming time for proper emotional development. An auditory burden I am willing to bear. Neighbor with his car he made louder on purpose. Jail for neighbor! Jail for 10,000 years! Oh, you wanted chocolate atop your Boston cream donut? Mmm, too bad! That chocolate is for the paper bag, you stupid bitch! I'm just living for the fact that some of y'all haven't even bothered to contact support to get your blogs unflagged, because aside from having a blurred avatar, you can just continue to blog like normal. This site's something else. I'll remember is the ADHD demon talking. You won't remember. Write it down. Both of you to assume I'll remember where I wrote it or even that I wrote it. You know, visual exhaustion is another symptom of ADHD, which means that if we see something enough times or we see enough instances of something, it fades into the background noise and we fail to notice it. This is why a lot of ADHD people can stand living surrounded by mess or clutter because it's just visual background noise to us. We don't even notice it anymore. So if we write something down and see the notes stuck up somewhere a lot, or if we write it a lot, or if we write a lot of some things down and have a lot of notes hanging around, we're even less likely to think of or remember the thing because it's just part of the scenery now. ADHD is the catch-22 of brains. Hate it. Honeybun thinks that this is his chair. It is his chair now. You have no choice. How do you guys feel about the fact that these two characters exist in the same universe? I don't know. Horny? Wrong answer. I got a tiny rubber baby for 95 cents. My son. This little plastic lefon by the computer vexes and haunts me. Is your dad a tragic 19th century French author? Yeah, sorry about your boyfriend. Yeah, I trapped him in the Traptanium Crystal. He lives in there now. Yeah, no, I do let him out, but just so I can make him fight creatures. <sighs> sorry. Why do you guys keep doing this to my boyfriend? Writing prompt. Dragons have treasure hordes for adventurers to target. Those are usually cover-ups to hide what the dragons actually care for. Some run orphanages, others have meticulously tended gardens, and some have the most well-stocked libraries in the world. Oh my god, I need this. Take me to Snarch, Snad! Only if you promise a sacrifice. <sighs> 
Snackrifice was right there and you missed it, bestie. Snad, I snap believe you forgot to say Snackrifice. I'm leaving the snurge in this whole snail legion. My whole career is in snapples. As we all know, red dragons breathe right channel audio, white dragons breathe left channel audio, and yellow dragons breathe video. Oh my god. This joke is living on limited time. Okay, no more questions. It's sleepy time. Me sees my stuffed animal on the floor next to my bed. Why? Why wasn't I a better parent? Devil may happy. Wouldn't it make more sense to say devil may smile? Critique my post ever again, and devil may angry. You want to have to research to write fiction instead of just magically injecting knowledge into my brain to... Oh my God! Probably rad RPG idea. Magical shield enchanted to feel pain. <laughs> I'm both dumber and smarter than you think, so don't underestimate me because I'm actually smart about a lot of stuff. But also don't be surprised if I'm dumb about some other stuff. Hope that helps. Where am I? One time I dreamt college only cost $45 per class. One of the few times I want Apollo to throw that dodgeball. Throw that dodgeball, Apollo! Hey, uh, evil snob, boys. For some reason, a heated blanket arrived in the mail. What a failed assassination attempt. Lol. Pokemon's best three characters all have parental issues. What did... What did Game Freak mean by this? Uh, I'm sorry. I think you mean four of the best characters. And he slides Silver up very slowly. Thank you. The moral of Matilda is that if you're autistic enough, you can destroy your enemies with your mind. Anyway, I think if instead of having internet phantoms or whatever, we should consider them internet neighborhoods. My mutuals mutual post about things in interest I could not possibly understand, but I will smile and wave while watering my flowers when they pass by. Except for that blog over there. Dinkleberg. I can say and do anything with consequences. Someone has to freaking blaze his posts. I mean, I can't because I'm broke, but let's show Pucky some consequences. Do it. How boring do you have to be to hate fantasy at use? Ugh. Cringe. I will not be needlessly cynical. I will enjoy things without shame. Always. Yeah, we always make you hear the same voice for this meme format. Yeah, it's an office space reference. Yeah, sorry. Oh my god, they know. When you mentally pss, 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 your mutuals and they don't come. Why? Audio processing disorder is like, you are going to be able to differentiate 27 distinct sounds happening simultaneously, except for when someone's talking to you. Good luck! People think because my ears are so unreasonably sensitive, I must also be able to hear them. This is false! I can hear the clock ticking, though. One time I was watching Avatar with my friends with headphones, and I heard my dad open a can downstairs. I still can't tell what people say to me if more than one person is talking. Don't lie to people. It's all very good until you remember how funny it is to give the wrong birthday to an astrology person and have them go, that explains so much about you. I had to mentally send myself a reaction image the other day. I ran up the stairs on all fours and said to myself, I am such a location pill scamperal. And then perfectly envisioned this image. Yeah, no one thinks like this. You're a broken person. Girls will say, I just need to lie down for a little while. And then sink into a muddy river and get all their heart tissues replaced with mineral deposits. I mean, it's called self-care, Sharon. Two genres of fan fictions. Put that guy into situations. And take that guy out of situations for the love of God. Let him rest. Baby girl, your enormous eye bags and just barely noticeable tremor have captivated me. Thank you, user eyes, 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 eyes. Um, I thought you were 22. It says 23 in your bio. You're never gonna believe what happened to me. The world is so beautiful. We can eat rice here. <laughs> it's perfect. My favorite thing on Tumblr is reblogging a post like, oh, that mutual's gonna love this, and then seeing them reblog it from you. I see they were able to achieve the mental pss, 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 pss. We need swimmable cities. Give us a few years. Quivering is my least favorite word in the English language. Nothing and nobody should be quivering. If you're quivering right now, stop that shit immediately. Tremble or shake if you must, but the quivering has to stop. I don't know what to say. I'm at a loss for words. Oh. Oh, how dare you, you sick individual. And you blow up this video with your mind.